Hello and welcome to the podcast series launched by the Szeged-based Association for Creative Education. I am Ildiko Pustai Varga, a lecturer and director of international affairs at the Faculty of Economics and Business Administration, University of Szeged. Now, let me introduce my guests. Melis from Turkey, first year student in the Business Administration and Management Bachelor program at the Faculty of Economics, University of Szeged. And Abdallah from Egypt, a second year student in the same study program, also a member of the international mentor team. In this podcast today, we are focusing on the issues concerning digital education, its pros and cons, and how we, students and lecturers alike, relate to it in the context of university education. The term that we use may be digital, online, hybrid, mixed or blended, they all tell the same. We are forced to use technical devices, online platforms, softwares and applications in order to do our everyday task, let it be teaching or studying. It all came out of the blue in March 2020 that we at the University of Szeged had to move totally online from one day to another due to the COVID pandemic crisis. The crisis is still here with us, once again pushing us back to the online classrooms. But for a short while, we could enjoy some courses at the beginning of the study term, also face to face in the classical classrooms. First, let me ask you, Abdallah, uh, because you already were in your second semester during the spring uh, term. How you lived through the spring semester, this very sudden switch to online education? What were your personal experiences? Yeah, uh, first of all, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, making me here with you, Eldiko. Uh, I think in this uh, semester, I, we had like the hybrid system, which is like uh, half online and half um, uh, offline, face to face. Uh, in my personal ex experience, I feel like that the online system is uh, like it's very hard for for me at least. I'm I'm gonna just talk about myself as a student. Uh, it's totally hard because uh, we cannot cooperate with uh, with teachers. We don't know mainly most of the time about the subject that we are uh, taking. Uh, most of the time. For me, I don't study before the exam. I don't study during the, the semester because I already know that it's gonna be like online uh, exam. So I will be able to, you know, check like some of the materials around me or maybe like help of someone or something. Um, the about the offline face-to-face -face, um, experience, um, it was it was good. It was like face-to-face, -face, so you can interact with the teachers and you can interact with your colleagues, uh, but. The main problem was like the mask that you always need to wear the mask, which is makes you like not comfortable enough to talk or even to hear the teacher. And I think the teacher like face a um, big problem to, to speak loudly to make us like um, hear them. So mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like that um, easy for us even like to, to, to hear them and like to interact because it's, it's not very comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's that's the, the main like uh, experience about the offline and the online for me. And how was it uh, in March when you got to know from one day to another that education would continue uh, in an online way? And how how could you cope up with the midterms and the exams in the springtime? If you can recall your memories. Uh, it was very surprisingly because like we were like uh, normal students offline face to face then like they were like okay we gonna uh, like switch everything uh, the positive side that the, most of the uh, teachers was were like uh, uh, providing us with the information they were like taking it easy they weren't rushing everything they were like giving us like the opportunity yeah, to understand the system it's like it's gonna be like totally like uh, okay and uh, they gave us like samples of like exams, how it's gonna be working. Uh, mainly, it was it was like uh, pretty good because like the teachers like were like new with this system, so they were like as uh, like uh, take it easy with us too. Um, 
it, it was surprisingly for us, but it, it was like kind of okay because we already talked the half of the semester, like offline or not exactly the half, but at least we know that the, uh, the subject that we are taking and we're supposed to, to make like kind of face to face exam. So we already studied for that, for that, for the subjects and we already know where are we going. Um, but it, it was like not that bad actually in, the, in March. Okay, I see. Thank you very much, Abdallah. Uh, Melis, I turn to you now because you have just started your university studies at our faculty, uh, at least. And this autumn semester, it's a kind of hybrid uh, way of teaching. So some of your courses may be, or now we are already in the lockdown period, but before that, they were held face-to-face in classrooms. Uh, and partly you had to register for completely online uh, courses. How did you manage? How did you, you cope up with this situation? Well, hello, thank you for having me here first. I kind of like this education more, the online education, because it is me to make my own schedule. Because be, uh, before I had to like, I would go, sometimes I wouldn't feel like it. I would have like, days or maybe I would have like something in my mind but now because most of the class are up online I just make my own schedule I sit down and I just learn it whenever I want so it's kind of made me be my own my own schedule and in the beginning it was the hybrid system I actually had questions to my teachers I would go and if I was fine, I would just watch the uploaded videos or watch the seminar videos. For me, it was really nice and it pushed me to use the technology. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Uh, could you please uh, think uh, about, for example, how interactive a class or a course uh, is when it is offline? in the classroom face to face or online so try to compare the two experience uh, how is it to interact with your classmates uh, is it more exciting or more boring if you compare the two two ways of study platforms abdalak uh, how do you see the difference um I feel like in the offline, uh, in the offline, like uh, teachers are more like uh, concentrated with the, on the with the students, with the way like they are asking the students, and we are like forced more to focus in the in the lecture to be able to answer. And even like some teachers give us like yeah extra points for like answering the questions. So it's give us like more motivation to be more like focusing on the uh, on the lecture. Uh, on the other hand, uh, in the online system, I feel like most of the students, no one, I think like in, in my faculty, we don't usually open the, the microphone uh, for like in the, in, the, um, uh, in the class. So maybe I would grab like a, a cup of tea or coffee or something. <laughs> I would watch something else. Uh, yeah, that's the truth. Uh, but like, yeah. uh, like unfortunately, I'm, I'm sure like I, I'm one of the people who, who's doing that. I'm not saying like, yeah, I'm, I'm for, no, I can't. I can't, I just, I see the bed and then I lay down in the bed, I fell asleep and I forgot to close even the, the, the PPP. It's like, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. I'm kind of student that I need to go to class and to be in person, uh, even it's, as um, Mary said, it's it's kind of hard yeah, because like we need to go to class, we, we don't have enough time. In the online system, we have a lot of time. If you want to work, if you want to improve yourself with other side, it's really good to, to, to like, to control your day and to manage your day. But on the other hand side, I'm not receiving the information that I supposed to receive from uh, uh, from uh, like uh, university studies. I most of the most of the subjects that I take this year, I don't I know nothing about it. Uh -huh. it's, it's so hard for me to like to even to compare because there is no interact at all. And maybe if I have a question, I'm just gonna type for the teacher and he's gonna answer me like maybe before the exam or something like that yes i see and did you have any face-to-face -face classes during september october this term yes i have uh i think four for uh for oh. uh mm -hmm. for face-to-face uh, -face. and it was good because uh two of them were uh, uh mandatory to to attend um uh, to, to attend the class so it helped you to to structure and schedule and to, to pull yourself together, right? Exactly. 
<laughs> okay, thank you, Abdullah. Uh, Melis, how about you? Do you see any difference in the interactivity uh, of the two uh, teaching ways, uh, offline or online? There is so much difference. You can turn on your camera and your microphone. So like we did that for marketing class and for Hungarian, it was a must because that's how like our teacher will give us the grades. So yes, mm -hmm. the offline like face to face to face classes, it was a bit harder. There were like, people always like moving or like teacher. I would see sometimes like they would get tired of it. But now when the teacher is talking, he just mutes us all and we have to listen. And if you don't listen, that's your choice in a way. The teachers also, I think some of them enjoy it to make us like be active, give us more points. Like we would still have like tasks, you know, they upload it in 24 hours and you write something about it, you still get extra points trying to help us to attend and be active as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you. And uh, finally, I would like you to consider uh, a few positive aspects of now digital learning only. Do you see any room for digital learning platforms, uh, means, instruments or uh, applications in a time when we are back to normal? So let's imagine that next year in the same time, everything will be back. Uh, it will be again normal. We could uh, enter the classrooms again. Do you see or do you think that we should take some positive aspects, uh, some part of the digital learning and its platforms or means with us in the future, in the long run as well? Abdalak, how do you see this? Any positive aspects? For me, actually, I'm kind of an um, old-fashioned person. I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's my type, actually, uh, to be like online digital thing. I prefer to be face-to-face, -face, interacting with other people, talking, seeing the facial experience, uh, like the facial appearance, uh, the body language, everything. It makes me more like feeling it, like I'm in, in the real life. I feel online, okay, it's maybe it can be like good in some like in some situation as like if like there is a homework i need to maybe like to upload it or something yeah maybe like i can do it like via online and like upload it via like email or something uh, otherwise i feel face to face is 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 the real thing it's like for me i'm as an old fashioned person <laughs> I don't know. that's good yeah, I see. It's absolutely understandable. But could you imagine, for example, a face-to-face -face classroom setting where you use also applications or, you know, some digital devices during the class? So where you kind of take advantage of uh, online or digital uh, ways? I see that's, that's what's happening uh, like, even like uh, when I started uh, my, my uh, studies here in the University of Sayan. Uh, there was no books, there was nothing in that I'm talking about the faculty of business. We were always like on our phones opening the PDF for the lecture materials and the stuff uh, interacting with the, with the teacher while we are like looking in, in our like phones or laptop or something in, in that PDF. So basically University of Saget were using the technology like very well. We have like all the materials in, in uh, on uh, course base, Neptunes, everything we, we can like uh, uh, even like got like the acceptance letters or like any kind of any paperwork via emails or anything but studies when it comes to studies and like teaching i feel it will be like more suitable to be face to face that's in my opinion okay thank you very much malice how do you see this question is there anything positive that we should keep also in normal times in face-to-face uh, -face classrooms growing up with technology the digital world were always coded for entertainment in my brain. But now school is on like on in the internet. Now when I sit to a computer, I know it's not only for fun. But now it's starting to be something that helps me to study. Okay, so it may also help uh, in the availability of course material. So if the digital uh lectures are recorded for example you have more access 
to rewatch them and to revise your knowledge. Uh, does this also uh, concern? Is it important for you that the materials would be uh, available in a more wide uh, platform? This is Malik? really important because before we weren't allowed to record our class, like use our phones or anything. Yes, I see and I understand. Okay, thank you very much, Melis and Abda. Like to share your ideas and experiences, even personal experiences with us. So maybe in summary or to conclude, we could agree that we would strongly like to get back to the real classroom, to the real classroom setting, to face-to-face -face teaching and, and learning. But we could also leave some room for uh, digital uh, ways, for uh, digital uh, platforms, which are anyway close to your generation when it comes to uh, watching movies or listening to music. And this time, this may also be used for learning purposes, for studying purposes. Thank you very much, and I wish you a successful exam period at the end of this term. And, uh, relaxing and happy holidays at the end of the year thank you very much thank you so much thank you so much